just seven things that are randomized. Just seven things that are all randomized? No, What's up, everybody? Randomized. Welcome to our box break here at Gamers yeah. Guild tonight. Three boxes. It will feature a box of Time Spiral Boosters and a box of Zendikar Rising Collector Boosters in each of our two breaks tonight. Uh, keep in mind that the two box toppers from the Collector Boxes, any foil expeditions, and any time-shifted foils that we open will be randomized at the end of the event. And let's go ahead and get started by assigning our break spots. Uh, joining us in the break this week is Brandon C., uh, Deegan here in person, uh, Greg in person as well, uh, Jeff B., Mike G., Nas, and Thomas J. Yeah, Jeff is a little under the weather, He's so he's going to be watching from home, but thank you for participating, Jeff. All right, our spots will go to the following. Jeff B. gets black. Brandon C. in blue. Mike G. gets green. Deegan gets red. Like, Why? Uh, Greg gets red. white and multicolor, which we combined this week. I'm good. I'm good. Nas gets colorless, get and Thomas J. Like what? Gets get like land. Oh, like no. so just before we start this, where where did you get the white and multicolor mix? Did you do any research on that? Yeah, so I uh, I looked at a few different breaks, and uh, the time style breaks typically combined multicolor and lands which I thought was a little bit questionable based on what we opened when we did our, our time style break last week. And then I looked back over a bunch of uh, Zendikar, expi uh, Zendikar uh, collector booster breaks, and they typically combined, um, it was like colorless and uh, white. And so I just decided to kind of split the difference a bit. And um, I gave white, since white is a little bit, uh, is probably the weakest overall. Um, we decided to bolster that a bit with multicolor, so maybe those folks will walk away with a, a Sliver Legion in addition to any cool uh, white cards we might open. I'd like to know how white is stronger than red, or weaker than red. You can get great I mean, it's like, kind of a coin get, flip for the young, both of them. I mean, I, I definitely or, debated yes, cards, um, so combining that. red uh, with multi. Uh -huh. yeah. But, uh, all right, guys. <laughs> Let's reset our... Uh, randomizer so that we can do uh, our I, I randomizations later of the uh, time shifted foils and the box toppers. All right, tonight, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our Zendikar Rising collector box because I know everybody's a little bit more eager to see Time Spiral. So we're going to save that for last. All right. Let's get going. Pack number one of the Zendikar Rising Collector Boosters. We're hoping to see some foil expeditions. We've got a full art myriad construct for colorless. A foil mythic for blue, uh, Seagate Restoration. That's a pretty good one. Uh, we're hitting the showcase portion, Brushfire Elemental, Fearless Fledgling. Oh, we've got another hit for blue off the bat. Uh, full art Jace Mirror Mage. Another mythic. Uh, fo uh, foil Showcase Canyon Jerboa for white. And for lands, we've got a full foil Full Art River Glide Pathway, the red blue. Awesome. So looking good for blue and lands so far. I'm going to pass these over to Deegan so you can get Sorry. them shuffled up. All right, we uh, also want to take a second to thank all you guys that uh, bought uh, Time Spiral from us while we had it. It was a, a complete sellout, uh, other than what we squirreled away for you guys here in the break, uh, because we figured we could accommodate the most people by uh, breaking some more product for uh, for you guys. Um, but man, what a, what a set it was. Uh, Wizards of the Coast so far is saying that it's a one and done print run. Um, as you'll probably note by any secondary market prices you'll see on those uh, boxes. But uh, 
like let them know that you want more of it you never know if all you guys uh complain about the availability perhaps uh they will listen and we'll see another print run sometime here in the future all right uh, we've got another hit for blue full art thieving skydiver and another a rare for blue foil inscription of insight it's a good day for blue uh nice brain and sea uh, Territorial Scythecat, McKinney Ox. We've got a, a showcase, uh, a Kazandu Mammoth for green. A foil showcase, Prowling Felidar for white. And a foil showcase, Skyclave Shade for black. Still looking for our first expedition foil. They average uh, to a box. We've seen some with three and, and others with one. So let's, let's hope for a three right here. Uh, Kiri, a Fearless Voyager for multicolor full art. Foil Nighthawk Scavenger for black. Skyclave Squid. Skyclave Pickaxe. We've got a, a Showcase Valka Exploration for red. That's a nice one for Deegan. Uh, Canopy Bayloth, uh, uh, Showcase Foil for Green. And a Foil Full Art from Multicolor, Nahiri, Heir of the Ancients. Awesome looking Multicolor Foil. I wish you got more support. Should do like, dude. Should do like sports cars where it's the color on the left. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a sports car. It's a, like if it's a multi-team car, it goes to the team on the left. Mm -hmm. Unless it's like super low numbered. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, we've got a Coveted Prize Full Art for Black. A uh, foil uh, for white, Archon of Amaria. Very playable. Dread Worm, Spitfire Lagak. We've got a multicolor uh, rare, a showcase, a Thylath World Sculptor. Skyclave Squid, showcase foil for blue. And a foil full art, Animon the Ruin Thief uh, for multicolor. He's featured in one of the Commander decks for Zendikar Rising. Definitely help cause an, uh, a drastic uptick in rogue decks being built. For colorless, we have a full art mythic. Lifted form engine. That's a good one. That is a good one. Uh, Swarm shambler for green foil. We've got a multi or a, a dual land for a full art needle verge pathway. The red white. Nice. McKinney Ox, uh, Showcase Foil for white. And a Full Art Foil for colorless, Myriad Construct. Oh, nice foil common for black, Feed the Swarm. Royal and Regrowth, a pretty good uncommon foil for green. For red, we've got a full art, Nihiri's Lithoformy, and a foil Wayward Guide Beast for red as well. Akum Hellhound and Prowling Felidar in the showcase slots. Then we've got a showcase Skyclave Shade for black, foil showcase Dread Worm for black. Oh, nice! We've got a Valakut, the Molten Pinnacle, foil expedition. Excellent. That will be randomized at the end of this break. Greg and Deegan already negotiating if they uh, win that. Deegan's had a really good run in winning randomized prizes at the end. Blood Chief's Thirst, uncommon foil for black. Very nice. Uh, Roiling Vortex full art for red. Foil Skyclave Shade for black. <laughs> River Glide Pathway, red, uh, red blue dual, non foil. So it's looking like a pretty good day for lands. Spitfire Lagak, showcase foil for red. Oh, strong! Uh, Bloodstained Mire. Foil Expedition, so we did not get shorted in this box. We hit at least our average, and we, like, hit a fetch, and that is 
always what you want to see. Aaron pulled that exact fetish what? yesterday. Yeah. Did he really? Yeah. We from, need to see. We need to see nice. two more things so everyone gets something. I need. I think that would be awesome. I need. Yeah. Some you know what I'm yeah. So like Justin just brought up an interesting point since we added a third box topper to the mix. Uh, right now we're standing at five uh, special cards being randomized. If we hit another um, expedition or if we hit like multiple foil uh, time shifteds, that means everybody will in the break will get something uh, in addition to what they get for their color. So that's sh this is shaping up to be uh, a pretty sweet break for everyone on that front. Uh, Charx, the Raging Isle, full art for blue. Foil, Hagra Mauling for black. That's a good one for Jeff B. Got the side cat and the fledgling in there. Um, Lotus Cobra for green, showcase, nice. Uh, showcase foil nectar pot for green. So fast, I keep those and also for green, full art foil crag plate bailoth. Pretty good pack for green there. I know Mike G is probably watching at home, man. Uh, we appreciate you participating with us this week. I, although I know what you're really wanting to see get opened is the time spiral. Maybe we'll pull you uh, some really sweet green cards from there. We didn't pull a goif last week, so maybe maybe this is the week for uh, that we'll see the goif. All right, Luminar Aspirant, a full art for white. Cards are good. Uh, Charx the Raging Isle, regular foil for blue. And we've got another dual land, the red green Crag Crown Pathway non foil. Thomas J is doing very well early. The lands always hit real big in Zendikar Rising. Uh, we've got a Showcase Foil Ruin Crab for blue. That's really good. And we've got a Foil Full Art for uh, Multicolor, Kaza Royal Chaser. So far, white and multicolor is doing all right for Greg, who's with us here in person. Soaring Thought Thief, that's a pretty awesome foil, uncommon for multi. We've got a non-foil Craig Plate Bailoth for green. We've got a foil for multicolor, Foil Mythic, Nisa of the Shadowed Bows. Squid and Felidar in those showcase slots. We've got a Felidar re Retreat Showcase for white. A foil Showcase, Canopy Bailoth for green. And we've got a foil full art thieving skydiver for blue. Mythic full art uh, for red, shatter skull smashing. Awesome. We've got a regular foil dual land, another river glide pathway. Awesome for Thomas. Lagak and Squid in the showcase slots there. And then we've got another full art dual land, the white black, right climb pathway. I'm about to go buy a box. This is yeah, man. You, you definitely want to see lands, like when Zendikar is involved. Territorial Scythe Cat Showcase Foil for Green. And our third foil oh, expedition. Oh, my goodness. Uh, sea Chrome Coast, the White Blue Fast Land. Awesome. I wonder if those get reprinted. Wow. One pack left to go. We pulled three foil expeditions. We might exceed the number of people in the break with the special cards in this one. Again. Yep. Full, or, uh, full art Kaza Royal Chaser for multicolor. Foil Cargan Intimidator for red. I know Deegan was disappointed with red, but man, just by volume, they are trying to make up that to him. <laughs> We've got a <laughs> multicolor <laughs> mythic Nisa of the Shadowed Bows full art. Great clean. Yeah, Greg's doing very well. Uh, 
Gotta do Foil Showcase, uh, Akum Hellhound for red. And our final card for this box is a full art for white. A Legion Angel. So another nice hit for Greg. Awesome, guys. All right. So now we're going to move on to Time Spiral. We've got 36 packs to open. So we're going to try to get through these as quickly as we can. Like, everybody got a little something in that. Uh, we definitely want to see a little bit more for colorless and blue and black. Uh, but we're very happy to see three foil expeditions. So that goes a long way to to making someone's night. Someone says I'm making out like a bandit. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm a good person. That's Goddard. <laughs> Who? That's Mike G. Oh, that, that, that's Goddard? Yeah. With, that's the, Goddard. with the green? Oh, no, 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 Greg made out like a, a Oh, yeah. All right, we're starting off with a rare for green, a Thelonite Hermit. And our time-shifted card is going to be a Crystal Shard for Colorless. Might of Old Crosa, another nice uncommon for green. Sudden Spoiling for black. And for lands, we've got a time shifted wastes. That's a good one. Yeah, I think they're about almost five bucks. Yeah, they're five bucks a pop or so right now. See me in Spirit Gun. <laughs> a Thelon of Havenwood for green. And a Contagion class, time shifted for colorless. We definitely want to see maybe a Chalice of the Void in that time shifted spot. Some Gauntlet of Powers. No Sorcerer Spyglass. <laughs> <laughs> Got Miri the Cursed for black. And a containment priest for white. Time shifted. Do you know, I noticed the other day that Sorcerer's Spyglass was, has already gotten a reprint in standard. Yeah. They just want to keep it in standard. Man. They're just keeping it around, man. Yeah, but the, uh, it's utility. It, it's crap. <laughs> <laughs> nice for lands. Oh, Mythic. Strong. Gemstone Caverns. That's exactly what you want to see. Awesome. I, we're happy for you there, Thomas. And then we've got a Zealous Conscripts time shifted for red. And then followed by a Foil Haze of Rage for red, which is what we're going to see the more like non-big hits Justin gets. I mean, all this volume of 20 cent cards, man. You know. gonna add up. See, I already told you. Haze of Rage. <laughs> Walk the Eons for blue. And a teamer battle rage. Maybe it's maybe it's not a haze of rage. Maybe it's just a battle rage. Or both. Uh, or both. <laughs> it's a haze it's of a, yeah, it's a teamer haze of battle rage. Uh, for red, time shifted. See, he's, he's, he's complaining, but look at all these Simeon Spirit Guides and Rift Bolts he's getting. They're so good. I was thinking way back in Simeon Spirit Guides. I yeah, I, Arc Blade, yeah. uh, that's... that's if, uh, if I recall way back in the day, um, <laughs> Arc Blade in one of the... Like, it was like Duelist Magazine, or maybe it was a Wizard Magazine. Out of all the cards they were highlighting in Arc Blade set, that was... They were listed that as like the number one card in the set. And uh, that's when I knew that that magazine was going under. Because <laughs> what's it even do? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Greater Gargadon for red. Gargadon. <laughs> we got a time shifted Shriek Maw for black, and a foil Orcish Cannonade for red. There you go. 
Maybe it's an orcish haze of rage. Delay, nice uncommon for blue. Damnation, mythic for black. There you go, Jeff. We've got a Grenzo Dungeon Warden time shifted for multicolor. And a Foil Trespasser Ilvec for black. Yeah, that's fucking terrible. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, this is awful. <laughs> Got a Street Wraith, a nice uncommon for black. Drown New Lich Lord for multicolor. And a time shifted Tide Hollow Sculler, also for multicolor. And our first a time shifted foil. We got this last week. That got us there. Gray Merchant as Asphodel. Nice. Everybody gets something. Everyone gets something. Dang it. I wanted one person to get. <laughs> you wanted one person to host. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, such Charlie, you're, so, you're, you're such a great person, Charlie. I mean, six people would like me. One person wouldn't have. <laughs> so now, like, we are officially at the point where everyone in the break is gonna receive like an additional card at random at the end. But let's let's try to make it better than that. You're gonna make your money back in Arcade, man. Number one red card in that set. <laughs> Well, you know, that came out. Keen Sense, nice uncommon for green. Lotus Bloom for colorless. There you go, Nas. Nice. There's a little something for you. Uh, Ancient Stirrings time shifted for green. Hey, green needs help. Green needs help. Green needs help. Back. We're about to pull a Goyf and like a Prime Mute Old Titan. And Mike's going to end up getting the Bloodstained Mire. That's, that's my prediction. Ancestral Visions Mythic for blue. Nice, Brandon. It's how it's much? Crazy. Two dollars. Yeah, what is? Ancestral so Vision hard. is oh. two bucks or so right now. They've tanked so because hard. of times hard Good enough. Wild. It used to be so expensive. You've got a Disdainful Stroke for blue time shift. I'm sure if you hold on to it, it's fine. But like, oh, right now is not the time to be moving that card. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, a good card. Yeah, Ancestral Starting is the best green card so far. No, there's the. Uh, We've got a cloud key for colorless. Paradoxical outcome time shifted for blue. You too Pack the negation for blue. Looking up a little bit for Brandon. And an Arcades the Strategist time shifted for multicolor. I want to see a foil one of those. I bet it looks awesome. It looks pretty good, actually. Anthony hit one of those. Mm -hmm. Anthony hit one of those. He needs to he needs to talk to me. We are definitely in the market to buy any time shifted foils. Gotta find it. Even ponder. <laughs> Vesuvian shapeshifter for blue. <laughs> Fibblethip, the loss for blue, time shifted. Oh, nice. Another hit for lands. Strong. That's Foiled. green, man. Nice. Oh, that's oh a, that's a hit for green. That's a, <laughs> that is a hit for lands. That is a green card, baby. You go. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. That one is for Thomas. All no, right. I'd write in. <laughs> Prismatic Lens, Big Game Hunter. All right, we got a Summoner's Pack for green. It's because they hosed you on the last one. <laughs> Lingering Souls time shifted for white. And a foil return to dust for white. <laughs> he said, wait just a minute, that card's green. It is green, right? <laughs> You need to talk to corporate. <laughs> Call up corporate right now. Corporate says it's a land nine, first. Seven, two, three, five, four. <laughs> Corporate's wrong. <laughs> Put on the Karen wig. Omegas of the future for blue. And another time shifted wastes. 
Wait, is that true? You can't play that card in your commander deck? It has for green. green. God, commander so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a land, and I want to play it... It has for color outside of your commander's color identity. Yeah. It has a green. But I thought you could have basic lands in your commander deck. You can if you they can, match if your they commander's color identity. Chromatic star for colorless. I don't understand that game. It's okay. It's not meant for Sarah everybody. Avenger for it's white. Like a real big green. Oh, no, it's meant for everybody. <laughs> oh, nice. Time shifted Sanguine Bond for black. Nice, too. And a foil time bender for blue. They reprinted it in Jumpstart. But good luck finding Jumpstart right now. We were told that there should be another printing of Jumpstart, but it could be like in quarter four of the year. So if you're holding out for like Allosaurus Shepherd, um, I mean, I don't know how big that print run's gonna be, but it, it may affect those prices. But that's gonna be a while. That's the thing. I want the misprinted lands. That's what I want. Just want, sick. Just want one of commander for white. A time shifted remand for blue. And a foil riddled of lightning for red. See a foil prime time and Mike's gonna cry. It's okay, Mike. You'll be fine. Another street wraith for black. Mm -hmm. uh, care keep for lands. And a time shifted laboratory maniac for blue. They're catching up. Coalition Relic for Colorless. And a Knight of the Reliquary, time shifted for multicolor. Smallpox, not bad for black. Conflagrate for red. A reiterate for red. Everflowing Chalice, time shifted for colorless. Reiterate, like yeah. that was in, sorely in need of a reprint. Yeah. It was it nice that it came yeah. here in <laughs> Time Spiral. Another delay for blue. Angel of Salvation for white. And a time shifted manifold key for colorless. It's, it's trying to give you that chalice of the void. It's not quite getting there just yet. The flagstones of Trocare for lands. Where you at, Charlie? That's a white card. No. And a teamer ascendancy for multicolor time <laughs> That's shift. not even close to being the same thing. <laughs> Will of Fate, Mythic for red. And a time shifted ponder for blue. Nice. That's a good hit. It's like a twenty-five dollar bonder. Yeah. Get, get the hell out of here! You I'm serious? Dead serious. Yeah. Dead serious. There. Wow. You hear that, Brandon? Bonder. Sick. No. The foil one is absurd. And I don't know. What's the foil one up to now, Greg? At like four hundred. I will give you a check right now. We got a life and limb for green. Time shifted stinkweed int for black. And a foil uh, rare for white, Angel of Salvation. Go home. go home, Greg. I will once I get all my cards. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get your the box right now. It's four fifteen for the foil pond right now. You're not buying that. I have one. What no, you I'm telling oh, Gary. Oh, oh, you're saying Garrett's not, not going to buy it. Garrett, Garrett can trade for it, though. That's the thing. Garrett has Swarm yard for uh, lands. <laughs> 
<laughs> Time shifted Zulaport cutthroat for black. Connor's struggling over here. He wants to text. He wants, he wants, <laughs> he wants to, to text, text for, uh... <laughs> It depends on, on which know, version of Dark Dog we're looking uh, at. <laughs> uh, I'm going to look at the, the From the Vault one, because it only has a mana symbol in it. Necrotic Sliver, nice for multicolor. If the High Arcanist for multicolor. And we've got our second Time Shifted Zealous Conscripts for red. Joyra of the Get Two from Multicolor. Cloud Shredder Sliver, time shifted for Multicolor. Have you hit a Foil Mythic in this box yet? I don't think so. Nether Trader for Black. Our second a time shift is Shriek Maul for black. And a foil sinew sliver for white. How big is Greg stacking? I mean, it's pretty all right. It's, I mean, when you can combine it with multicolor, it's going to be pretty solid. It's going to be huge. But, I mean, huge. honestly, everybody is kind of going to be, like, <laughs> banking on what they pull from the additional... I uh, randomized cards. Yo, Mike is fighting hard for this. <laughs> Mike, I mean, Mike, he's got a good argument. Mike, 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 Mike is trying to. Angels make Grace for, for white. You can take Garrett to court. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a time shifted, uh, awesome card for green. Eternal Witness. Hey, there you go, Mike. There that you go, Mike. Green for sure. So his two best cards are Elit and Agent Stern. <laughs> Please come back, Mike. <laughs> Please, be, please, please look forward to it. Oh, man, I tried it. Mangara of Corridor for white. Mm. Uh, Felden of the Third Path, time shift for red. And a foil Crook Claw transmuter for blue. Sedge Sliver for red. That would have been a sick sealed pack for slivers. Not oh, not. nice. Monastery Swift Spear time shifted. Yeah, that's a good one. You can talk to, uh, talk to our boy. Yeah. Those were like 11 bucks. I'll see like oh, really? the last yeah. Is it really? I have no idea. I just yeah. the sack. I was they're, they're up there. Oh, well. I just want to see like, if I got the bottom again. Extra paint for black. Time shifted flicker wisp for white. And a foil giant dust wasp for green. There you, there you go, Mike. Mike. In there. Three packs to go. Sliver Legion, Mythic, Multicolor. Jesus. <laughs> awesome. It's gonna like, it's white good day for Greg. Gotta be lucky than good. Uh, SRAM, time shifted for white. Hey, look at that. What a good pack. So go ahead and put that sliver into the, the top pile to get raffled off. <laughs> I'm still hoping for our second time shifted foil. Last week, sick. we opened two boxes that had one and two boxes that had two. If we don't pull another one, maybe that bodes well for our second box break. Boom Bust for red. And a time-shifted Corsair of Crufix for green. That's, that's your best card so far. I mean, you can still argue e with. I'm pretty sure Corsair is going to be worth more. Pretty sure. It could be wrong. I mean, they're both good. Like, they are both good. I feel like e with should be worth more. Commander pack. Alright, our last pack. Okay, well, maybe not. 
Got a fungus sliver for green. And a time shifted fibble tip the lost for blue. So we only got the one time shifted foil. It's a cool one with it being gray merchant. <laughs> the sliver is also green. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what order should we do these in? Should we do these box toppers first? From left to right. End, end with the time shifted. Oh, I think we should end with the bloodstain mire. Can we just like random them all? No way. No. All right. So first we like. I just think I think we do. We're gonna open up the first box top. No, should I open the first box topper and then get you the name? You never open it. Ah, uh, I disagree. But okay. No, you don't disagree because I what? wanted it the first. Since week, everybody's getting something, why don't you open all the box toppers and just put everything face down and completely randomize it? No way. Uh uh. I'm a. I'm a. Oof. Why not though? Whew, that's spooky. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't work out any differently. All right, let's just go with this first box topper. It's gonna go to Jeff B. What did Jeff have? Jeff had black. And now, in addition to that, he also has a bountiful promenade non-foil expedition. I don't know if you've got that one yet, Jeff. I know you're trying to collect all the non-foil expeditions. There you go, man. All right. All right, now he's removed from the pool. Our next box topper will go to... Brandon C. Yeah. Brandon C. had blue. And now he also has... Averted Catacombs! Oh my gosh. Nice. Awesome. Good. The green black fetch. Non foil. Nice hit, Woo. Brandon. That's a, that's a real good one. Excellent. Oh, All right. Shit. The third and final box topper will be going to Deegan. There you go, buddy. All your hard shit. Deegan will get. Oh, I saw it. It's a good oh, one. Damn. It's a good one. He's gonna be happy, y'all. But then again, you know, if it has red in it, like, <laughs> does he really want it? Deegan gets a Scaldy yeah, Tarn. Nice. We're good. Awesome. <laughs> All the salt is gone. <laughs> the one salt gone. Dude, yeah. <laughs> two fetches, just like that, man. That's awesome. That is great. Sweet. All right. We're gonna do them like this. All right, Sea Chrome Coast. We'll go to Nas. Nice. Nas had colorless. Nas had colorless. You're gonna get it, Mike. You're gonna get paid off. <laughs> All right. Valakut, the mo I mean, like. Can't be unhappy about any of these, really. You really can't. But uh, Valakut, the Molten Pinnacle, is going to go to, will it be Greg, Mike, or Thomas J? Fool me, Kamani. It's going to be... Yeah, yeah, it's Thomas J! Am I gonna get Let's go! Am I gonna that, you can just add that to his land stack. Very good, Thomas. If Greg gets that Bloodstained Mire, I'm losing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 50 -50. All right, okay, so we've just got Greg and Mike G remaining. The next, should, the name that appears, Mike which one we'll, he wants us to do first. We need some new blood in here. Well, the next one like, is going to get the Bloodstained Mire. Whoever does not appear will get the Gray Merchant of Asvidel. But either way, like, oh boy, we're very happy for okay. you guys. All right, so. The Bloodstained Mire Foil Expedition will go to Greg! Woo! <laughs> what the <laughs> Fantastic. And that means, Mike G, you will get the Time Shifted Foil Gray Merchant of Asphodel. Man. Which is super sick, and we will definitely buy it from you if you want to move it. Alright, man. Awesome.
incredible. All right, what a, like that was great. Just being able to give away like a randomized to everybody in that break. That was pretty fun. Yeah, that was actually really good. That was awesome. Like, everyone got something nice. Yeah. No one walks away unhappy. So, like, you can put that over there with those. Yeah. All right. So once again, we've got a box of Zendikar Rising Collector Boosters. Go Plus a bonus box topper. Mike, this is my lobby. You don't understand. Right. This this is for the my last lobby. several weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta that. All right. So joining us in this break, we've got Alex B, Arthur, Daniel S, uh, Lou is joining us for the first time, Michael A, Nick G, and Ronnie. And our spots for this break will go to the following. Nick G will be in black. Daniel S is in blue. Arthur is in green. Still waiting to see that goif. Michael A is in red. Ronnie's in white and multicolor, which turned out to be a pretty sweet spot last one. Uh, Alex is in colorless. And Lou has lands, which seems to be always a good spot to be in. All right, guys. So I'm saying, Mike, like the Gary is 60 bucks. You, you, you okay? You are okay, buddy. Let's fix the randomizer so it will only do one name per at the end. Hopefully, we get to give away another seven cards at the end of this. That would be awesome. All right. Zendikar Rising Collector Box. Pack number one. We've got a full art uh, Wayward Guide Beast for red. And a foil Valakut Exploration right behind it for red. Not a, not a bad way to start, Michael A. Eh? Dreadworm, Scythe Cat, and a consent. I mean, I can't say uh, Kazandu tonight. Uh, showcase for green. Foil showcase canopy bailoth for green. Oh, and an, another expedition foil Seachrome Coast. Starting off right. Starting off with one. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe that's a good sign that we'll get two more this time. That seemed to. I definitely want to see two time shifted foils. Full Art Inscription of Insight for Blue. Mythic Foil for Red. Shatter Skull Smashing. For Multicolor, we've got a Showcase Phylath World Sculptor. Foil Showcase Territorial Scythe Cat for Green. And a Full Art Foil for Black. Uh, Tabarax Hope's Demise. Appreciate you playing tonight, Nick. Foil Feed the Swarm, another good one for black. Uh, Ballad Gad Recovery is actually a pretty good one for green as an uncommon. Don't sleep on all the commons and uncommons. Uh, full Art Cargan Intimidator for red. A uh, Foil Throne of McKindy for land. McKindy Ox, Necropot for green. We've got a Showcase Lotus Cobra for green. And a Foil Showcase Prowling Felidar for white, followed by a Full Art Foil Master of Winds for blue. Full Art Skyclave Apparition for white. It's definitely one of the best white cards you can see in the Zendikar Rising portion. Followed by a Foil Nahiri, Heir of the Ancients for Multicolor. Not a bad uh, pack for that part of our break. We've got our first dual land, Full Art Clearwater Pathway, the blue-black. 
followed by a showcase foil ruin crab for blue and a foil full art legion angel for white Got a full art throne of McKinney for lands. Foil Orin Reef Ooze for green. Our second dual land, a full art river glide pathway, the blue red. Showcase foil Akum Hellkite or Hellhound for a red. And a foil showcase Phylath World Sculptor for multicolor. Full Art Nimble Trap Finder for blue. Foil Inscription of Abundance for green. Full Art for blue, Jace Mirror Mage Mythic. Showcase Foil Skyclave Squid for blue. And our, is, are we, we just duped up? Like well, again. the exact thing. Yeah. Uh, f uh, Expedition Foil, foil Valakut. Nice. Maybe this like maybe we can do it again. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Maybe that means we've got a bloodstain mire in here. That would be really sick. If Greg gets it, I'm gonna be pissed. Greg's not, not in this. I, I'm not I, in this. I, I, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> if, if my name pops up again, anyways, that's, that's because. I mean, hey, at that point, I mean, I guess this if phone could roll weird. Full Art Hagra Mauling for black. By the way, I'm glad Foil Ondu Inversion out. for white. My suggestion. So just put that out there. So what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's calling time worked out for you. We've got another dual land for Lou. Full Art Needle Verge Pathway, the white red. Showcase Foil McKindy Ox for white. Thought it was a bloodstain mire there for a second. <laughs> yeah. uh, full art foil for red. Wayward guide beast. I feel like we've gotten a full art foil wayward guide beast. In every <laughs> I mean, they they tried to make a, a cool synergistic like goblin guide landfall yeah, they thing, they and I mean, I like it, but. Man, that, it's super specific. Malakir Rebirth Foil for black is not bad. Maul of the Skyclaves, full art that's for white. That's a good card. Null Priest of Oblivion card. for uh, black yeah, foil. Like Showcase Skyclave Shade for black. Showcase Foil Skyclave Pickaxe for green. Uh, full Art Foil, Inscription of Insight for blue. You know what has not been hit yet at all? Colorless. Nothing. Oh. Now, Alex is going to make up for it in bo in the Time Spiral box. Oh, or in he, or he's going to win. Oh, he lied. Never cool. mind. You have a Foil Common. <laughs> foil Spare Supplies, man. Oh, uh, you got oh. a Foil Relic Vial. <laughs> all right, we've got a Full Art Null Priest of Oblivion for black. Foil Wayward Guide Beast for red, not in full art. Lands gets another hit. The red green yeah. duel, Crag Crown Pathway. Prowling Felidar Showcase Foil green. for white. <laughs> and a foil full art, Cargan Intimidator for red. Three packs to go in this box. We definitely need to see some help for colorless, but we feel like it's coming. Angel of Death Destiny Mythic Full Art for white. Foil Legion Angel for white. Showcase Felidar Retreat for white. A pretty good pack for Ronnie. 
Showcase foil canopy Bayloth for green. And a full art foil Hagra Mauling for black. Black's not real. Yeah, black's not real, real good in this one. So, like, black's been okay. A red has been okay. White's been good. White's been good. Lanza's been good. Like, blue, green, and colorless is where we really need to see some, some stuff. Uh, Verizal, uh, the split current for multicolor, full art. Foil coveted prize for black. I want to see an ancient green ward in full art foil. How about that? We've got another land. Bright climb pathway, the white black. McKendy Ox showcase foil for white. Oh! All right. <laughs> Sick! What a box now! Scalding Tarn Expedition Foil! Oh man! Back to back three expedition boxes for Zendikar Rising Collector. Oh my goodness! Oh man, but don't forget about Colors with Utility Knife. <laughs> the world needs to know. And you got a sky clay sentinel. There you go, Alex. <laughs> All right, or a sky clay hierophant in this last pack of Zendikar Rising Collectors. Full art, multicolor. Foil, regular crag crown pathway, the red green duel. And we've got a showcase mythic for red, a Morog, Fury of Akum. That's what you want to see out of this one, red. Like that one in Skyclave Smashing. Showcase foil Skyclave Geopede. A super beautiful card for being on a not so great card. And then we've got a foil full art Skyclave Apparition for white. Nice. That box. <laughs> I know it didn't have a whole lot for green or for colorless, especially not when you consider the potential. But wow. Yeah, green, you got a stack like forming over here. That's all right. Alex is about to get that scalding time. That's one uncommon. And if we remember, when we did those VIPs, Alex got corn, he got the sword. What else was it that he hit? Like, oh, it was. Else. Uh, so, I mean, you know. Like, colorless can't work out all the time, can it? All right, here we go. First pack of Time Spiral. Flagstones of Trocare to get us started. Nice one for Lou. And we have a time shifted true name nemesis for blue. Nice, Daniel S. We definitely want to see a little bit of help for blue, green, and colorless from this box. And if we see one time shifted foil, once again, we will have a randomized awesome card for everybody. We got life and limb for green. That's not the kind of help I was talking about. Evolutionary leap time shifted. Not exactly what I was talking about, but that is a pretty good commander card. Even mind sensor, a nice one for white. Felon of Havenwood for green. Not the green I had in mind, but maybe it's coming. Uh, time shifted Arch of Araska for lands. Urborg for lands. Nice one, Lou. And a time shifted Ethereal Armor. For white. Mm. All the Bogos players are going to try to get 
coils of those. Sarah Avenger for white. We've got a Dovin's Veto time shifted for multicolor. And a foil Nantuko Shaman for green. Maybe one day if we break more time spiral, we should make slivers a slot. No. <laughs> Probably not. All right. Uh, Singer Nosferatu for black. Time shifted blighted woodland for lands. And a foil common for white. Benelish Cavalier. Might of Old Crosa for green. Eon Chronicler for blue. Got a time shifted mirror entity for white. I don't know if, how many of them are under. Well, I think everything's pretty much baseline 30 bucks almost. We got a Vincer Shaper Savant for blue. Uh, time shifted for multi. Slime Foot the Stowaway. And a foil Death Sport Thalid common for black. Joyra of the Get Two for multicolor. I think Nate, if I do this combination again, I think I'm going to combine multicolor and colorless. We, oh, nice for black. Leyline of the Void time shift. Awesome. That's a great one for Nick. Pulmonic Sliver uh, for white. Time Shifted Thrag Tusk for green. There's a little something for Arthur. And a Foil Uncommon for blue. Cloud Cedar. Vesuvian Shapeshifter for blue. Nice time shifted uh, for multi. Kosali Pride Mage. Oh, oh nice! Yeah, That's good. We hit our first, perhaps only, time shifted foil in this box. Path to Exile. That's a good one. That, that is one super good. What is that going for now? Somebody give me a price check. Awesome, and now we officially have enough uh, of the randomized slots that everybody in this break is going to get something. Could it be that Scalding Tarn or that Path to Exile that you end up with? Somebody's got to get them. $93. $93. How much is the Scalding Tarn Expedition Foil? I'd imagine it's probably it's got to be up above ninety three. It's, it's above ninety three. I can always promise you that. the The non foils are ninety three. The foils are, are yeah. The foils are one twenty three. One twenty three. Nice guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the non foils are still super expensive. I have to read another. We've got a red mythic, a chroma angel of fury, the morph of chroma, and then for colorless. There you go. We've got a Panharmonicon you know time hey, shift. Hey, you know, buddy. Hey, man, we need we need it. We, we need, need it for Colas, even though get for he's Colas. probably going to get something awesome in the end. I like it when it works out that way. 
Last week was definitely the first week where everybody definitely did well. There's usually one or two that are on the lower tier of things. We got a porphyry nodes for white. And a time shifted Baral, Chief of Compliance. That's a really good one for blue. If I'm not mistaken, I think Daniel has had blue previously and got a mana drain from us in one of these. One of the Commander Legends ones we did. Extirpate for black. Uh, time shifted Rakdos Charm for multicolor. I'll definitely take any of those you guys want to trade into me. We are always needing more Rakdos Charms. Uh, Mythic for Black, Living End, and uh, Everthorn Chalice, Time Shift, Almost there. and a Foil Outrider Encore for White. <laughs> Safi Eric Stoddard for Multicolor. Time shifted Itali Primal Storm for red. Oh, I felt like there was another card there. Fungus Sliver for green. Nice for black. Time shifted Yagma Thran position. There we go, Nick. That's too cool. Have you seen the modern deck that uses Living in right now? Cycles with a bunch of creatures and does Living in with Astro Cold. Street Wraith for black. Radha Heir to Keld for multicolor. Hedron Archive time shifted for colorless. Give you a few a few things. It's not about the, the it's not about the quantity, Alex. It's not about the quantity. Hedron Archive. Crovax, a mythic for white. Crovax, ascendant hero. Time shifted Elvish Mystic for green. Here we go, Arthur. And we've got a foil think twice for blue. Sudden spoiling for black. Our second ethereal armor time shift for white. And a foil rare for blue, Megas of the Future. Gotta reiterate for red. Another time shifted evolutionary leap for green. Oh, this logic mod is good. Yeah. I like how that works out. Got a hive stone for colorless. Time shifted reclamation sage for green. Maybe the first one of those I saw. Uh, I don't think I recall seeing one last week. Nether Trader for Black. Time shifted non foil Grey Merchant of Asphodel for Black. Yeah. 
swarm yard for lands. And a time shifted blighted woodland for lands. Uh, Crows and Grip, a nice uncommon for green. Nice, there we go, Alex. A Chroma's Memorial. Nice. Mythic for Colas. Followed by a time shift to cranial plating. Nice. Nice. Good pack for Colorless. The only trick uh, the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Another Street Wraith. There we go. Another Colorless Rare. Coalition Relic. Followed by a Zulaport Cutthroat time shift for black. And a foil nether trader for black. It's a pretty strong box for black. Green Welk for blue. A time shift for multicolor, Tide Hollow Sculler. Jaya Ballard Task Mage for red. Time shifted Dismember for black. That's a good one. And a foil Paradise Plume for colorless. Delay, uncommon for blue, that's still a good one. Heartwood Storyteller for green. Time Shifted Mystic Confluence for blue. And a Foil Sting Scourger for red. I'm so excited every time I see a foil. <laughs> Me too. I definitely want to see another another shifted foil yeah. although we've we've done pretty well so far on the on the big hits tomb stalker for black another barrel time shift for blue and a foil evolution charm for green Lotus Bloom for Colorless. Alicia Who Smiles at Death time shift for red. Teferi, Mage of Zephyr, Mythic for blue. Ancient Stirrings, time shifted for green. Got four packs to go. Come on, Goif, man. How many more boxes of this are we going to open and see? No Goif. I mean, it's going to be just like damn Lotus. I guess so. Ith High Arcanist for Multicolor. Followed by Time Shifted Slime Foot for Multicolor. Nope. Got a Care Keep for Lands. Harvester of Souls Time Shifted for Black. And a foil hive stone for colorless. I made it. That's it. Only four colorless. We got a Chromos Memorial. That's I mean, that's pretty good. And he's definitely gonna end up with something from here. So between the two things, you probably make your money back. Oh no, he'll make his money back. Yeah. 
for sure. That's not. I mean, the memorial is like twenty five bucks. A drow new lich lord from Malty. Anger of the gods time shifted for red. I forgot about that time shift. That was nice. All right, last pack. Good luck, guys. Come on, we want to see a goif and a time shifted foil. Perhaps a thought seize. That would be a That'd good be day. Bad. Glittering wish for multicolor. And a trigon predator for multicolor time shifted. All right. So that box overall was probably a bit lackluster, but. We're going to put an exclamation point on this with an awesome array of randomized prizes. Before, uh, we're going to do the three non foil box toppers first. And the first one will go to Lou. And Lou, you are getting a non-foil creeping tar pit. Sorry, Lou. Sorry, <laughs> Lou. But thanks for playing. You got a bunch of duels in the... Uh, yeah. yeah, the uh, Zendikar Rising box was pretty good to Lou. All right, our second box topper will go to... Ronnie. <laughs> What's bad is with that torn in that path there, everybody's going, Damn not it. me, yeah. not me, <laughs> not me. I don't want to see my name this time. That's all I was doing with the blood stain my All right, and Ronnie, we're getting a non-foil. Sea Chrome Coast. Non-foil, fast land, white, blue. There you go, Ronnie. Thank you for participating again this week, my friend. All right. Final sealed box topper of the week is going to go to Daniel S. And that's going to be to go along with your Barals. An Aaron Mesa! Nice, nice man. We did get one fetch out of our sealed box toppers. That's awesome, man. The red white fetch. Congrats, dude. Colorless is still in there for the scalding comp. Yeah. That's what I call it. All right. Good, yeah, we definitely all agree that colorless was probably the most like maybe green though. But green maybe was, it was better than Mike G's green. Yeah, maybe. All right. So the foil Sea Chrome Coast is going to go to Alex. We'll get that shipped out for you tomorrow. Should there, you Alex. The camera in front of you? Is that what you're just doing? <laughs> yeah. I was there too, Charles. I was like, bro. All right, all right. Microphone, look at this. All right. The uh, Valakut Expedition Foil is going to go to Nick G. Nick G. Well, Arthur and Michael are both just celebrating right now. Yeah. <laughs> but the Valakut, that's a pretty awesome consolation prize. And Nick, you probably had the best break in this uh, in this second break for us, man, with, with all the sweet black cards you pulled. All right, so... We've got Scalding Tarn, and we've got Path to Exile. The Scalding Tarn is going to go to the name that appears, and the Path to Exile will go to the last name in our pool. Either way, I think they both just made up all their money. And then some. And then some. And then a lot more. Almost doubled up. Yeah, yeah at least. Especially the Tarn. The Tarn might triple you up almost. All right, here we go. And the Scalding Tarn will go to 
Arthur. Nice. Man. Good job, Arthur. Congrats. You just Chris. pulled the green all the way out of the fire there. And, of course, that leaves us with Michael A. With his poor excuse of a consolation prize. A time-shifted foil path to exile. exile. It is super sick, man. I can't wait for you to see it in person. You've been pimping out so many decks lately. Like this is If you don't end up selling this to me or anyone, it's going to make a great addition in one of them, I'm sure, man. Congrats. All right, so what's the takeaway from the... Uh, from the breaks this week. If we do this combination again sometime, we're definitely going to probably lump in multicolor with colorless. I think that would be uh, the best way to go on that front. Um, our boxes were a little mediocre um, in that like, we didn't see Thoughtseize. We didn't. We only saw one Gemstone Caverns. We still haven't like, seen a Goyf. We yeah. still have not seen a Goyf. But the awesome thing was is in both of our Zendikar Rising boxes, we hit three foil expeditions. And, uh, like, our Time Spirals uh, gifted us with a time-shifted foil in each box, which meant we could give away an awesome prize to all seven participants. And that is, like, a, 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 something to hang our hat on uh, this week. Uh, we definitely appreciate it. Thank you for joining us this week. Please keep your eyes on our uh, Facebook page. We will be posting some uh, some small event information soon. I know some of you guys are really eager to get uh, uh, get in some some GG events once again. Um, remember to uh, like our YouTube channel. Uh, you can go like us on Twitch. Uh, five star ratings all the way around. We we definitely appreciate you following us and paying attention to what we we do. Uh, we really appreciate all of your support, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Thanks, guys.